search is on right now to find the hit and run driver who ran over a young woman and then left the scene. Paige Belinsky is on life support at Memorial Herman. She was struck while riding her bike. Channel 2's Jake Reiner is live for us tonight with the details. Jake. Sarah, Paige Belinsky was just five minutes from her home before she was hit and killed. Right behind me here near the rodeo grounds. Now her friend Patrick was with her at the time and he spoke to us tonight. It hurts, sir. It really does. I just can't stop thinking about her, man. Patrick St. Romain, Paige Bolinski's friend of six years, went with her to Applebee's on FM 2100 late Friday night. She was all set to see her friends at the airport the next morning. She was too excited to sleep, so she wanted to go out and have, have some beers. The pair left the restaurant just before 2 a.m. on bikes. Romain remembers he was a little bit ahead of Bolinski, who was closer to the roadway. That's when she was hit by a white Jeep Grand Cherokee traveling in the same direction, right by the rodeo grounds. I panicked and, and uh, somebody pulled up. I, I believe they called the ambulance before I could and called my friend to come help. Surveillance video from a nearby business captures the moment the SUV sped off. You can also see a figure running after it. Bolinski is on life support but clinically dead. Romain keeps replaying the moment of the crash in his head. It's really it's like it should have been me or something, you know? If I was in that spot of hers, that would have been me. At last check, deputies are still searching for the person responsible in this hit and run crash. At six, you'll hear more from Romaine, the main eyewitness in this crash. We're live in Crosby tonight, Jake Reiner, KPRC, Channel 2 News.